All right, Dame, we got a really good one here today. Uh, this is one I've been wanting to try, and uh, it's old Granddad 114. Uh, actually, didn't it was a lot of people have been talking about it. It used to be on the shelf, and you could find it everywhere. Uh, it's getting some more notoriety, especially on a lot of the review channels. Uh, folks are really digging it. Uh, so I saw it uh, at Browdy's, and I just grabbed it. And so I thought it'd be a good one for us to uh, try. It's a Jim Beam product. Um, can't remember how old it is. Does it say? Uh, I don't think uh, so. No age statement on this. Just uh, so it's probably about four to seven years, but it's 114 proof. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm looking to see if there's an age statement on the back. I didn't look. Uh, nope. But it's uh, Jim Beam, so it's uh, Claremont, Kentucky, which is right outside of. Bardstown. Ah, <laughs> so I still am not going to be able to. I <laughs> just don't ask me that anymore. <laughs> so it's a little proof. We got a nice bottle, nice cork. Uh, like I said, you used to be able to see this around. Oh, by the way, how you like the new set? Uh, the the gaffer back there, Vogel, decided it was uh, time to change things up. So we've been playing with light. You'll probably see a little bit of shadows. I'm gonna try not to heavy pour you this time, Dame. You're eh, go for it. Go for it. There it's a go. Sunday. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. So let's get some high proof bourbon. Yeah, let's <laughs> start it off with a bang here. Nice and, snap, uh, nice and tight. Yeah, the mash bill. We've got 63% corn, 27% rye, and 10% malted barley. So it's got uh, a great color on yeah, it. Yeah, nice, nice dark mahogany color. Smells it's definitely good. Definitely proofy though. Yeah, you, you got, can smell it. A little proofy. You know, but, though, Ken, it's it's proofy, but it's you can smell the other elements, yeah, like the fruit. Right. Uh, you might hear something. That's the dog. Yeah. Uh, we've displaced her, Ooh. so she's... Uh, she's getting all her toys she's out. She's getting all her toys out. Yeah, you get some cinnamon, some sugar. She's getting ready to get the, the squeaky Ooh. football. <laughs> of course. Why, yeah. why wouldn't she? Yeah. But you can definitely smell that ethanol. But it's not as bad as a I bite get, yeah. as I expected. If we let this sit, I guarantee you... It's going to come back and it's going to be brown sugar, vanilla, yeah. caramel, all the regular. There's yeah. definitely a fruity, a little bit of a fruity thing. I was yeah. expecting um, peanuts because yeah. bean profile usually has some peanuts in it. Like Old Tub is very peanutty. Mm. Um, that smells good. Get, I think the fruit is maybe some orange. Yeah. it's Some brown sugar. Yeah. It's definitely. Spicy. It, it's, it's spicy. Yeah, getting ready to get kicked on this one. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely, as it as it opens up, there's definitely some pepper, but yeah, there's fruit in there. Yeah, I think it's citrusy. Good. Yeah, it smells really good. I, I, I can see why people are uh, ripping it off the shelves like they are. This is, uh, this is really good, at least on the nose. Let's, uh, let's give it a taste. Cheers, man. Cheers. Bang the table. Got some pepper got on the some, back. Got some pepper and spice and the, heat. But right up front, it's though, it's sweet. Oh, it is. The first, the mouth feels, it's, it feels pretty viscous. Yeah. Um, yeah but it's, 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 it's very sweet, but then you get some pepper on the back, which again, 114 yeah. proof. Yeah. You know, you're going to. Man, it's, it's peppery. It's got cinnamon. You know, it's crazy. It's got the high proof got the spice it's got the heat and you would think with all that with the pepper the spice the heat there'd be a little too much but it's not a little leathery on the back yeah yeah it's it's, it's not got some lay with some complexity to it good work complexity um, there's a lot going on here um i mean straight up it's it's good but you yeah. um you gotta be ready for it i mean i can see why i mean people are are getting it because uh yeah it's it's got everything you would want in a, mm. in a bourbon yeah you know what would be good is to um take this and put it up against like rare breed old, uh, old, um, a wild turkey rare breed because you know, again peppery again, yeah <laughs> peppery it gets you let's hit a little but it's little enjoyable bit of yeah it's, it's enjoyable. enjoyable and again probably uh it's it's first whiskey of the day here yeah. it's it's noon ish it's twelve forty. <laughs> so i'm starting to shake because i this is, i haven't had a drink before this so you know <laughs> Now the ice really smooths it out. You don't get the ethanol. The sugar comes out more. Really get a lot of sugar. And, and uh, I'm getting more vanilla. Now I'm getting the peanut. Yep. I'm actually getting the peanut now. Hmm. All right. Yeah, 
Mm. Stands up to the ice. <laughs> <laughs> it kicks. Yeah, it you kicks. still get the you still get the pepper yeah. and the leather yeah, on the back end, and you still get the fruit, but it stands up to that ice cube. With, I, I'm, I'm gonna say for me with the ice, I think it takes at least my opinion the complexity out of it. Oh, it definitely does. Like it, it, it just it it. Uh, with that, I don't. I don't find it as enjoyable with the ice. Um, no, I, I, I just. I, I just got the heat, and I don't get the. I don't get the. The other components to it. When See, I, I like it with the ice. I think it stands up. Well, you're wrong. Uh, I, I prefer to say I have a different palate, <laughs> and uh, I don't play. I well wasn't up late in the pool drinking all last night. <laughs> so, I mean, I was up late drinking Friday night. Yeah. So yesterday, not so much. I shouldn't be so hard on you, Ken. That was, I need to, I need to do better with that. Palette, you know? I have a different palate. And, and I, I actually tend to like bean products. Um, it's sort of what I, I cut my teeth on when I started drinking bourbon was bean yeah. products, uh, old tub. And I, I'm, I love peanuts and things like yeah. that. So this is kind of right up my alley. Yeah, I'm gonna say I really enjoy this neat. Um, for me, so-so on the ice. Um, it's a good offering. I think if you're in for something that's gonna grab you a little bit um, with some heat, I think this is a good good choice. I, I enjoyed Ken. I think this was a good pickup at, uh, from our friends at Browdies. Yeah, you know, um, I would think that you know if you had like a, a nice big heavy meal and you want something afterwards just to kind of mm. you know cut that richness or that like yeah. a big meat, Agreed. You know, this would be. And this I bet too, guy. as we as we like to say, as we put more air in this bottle, I bet it's gonna, uh, as Ken likes to say, soften the edges a I'm little bit. I'm gonna go easy on putting air on that bottle. That's. Uh, yeah. I, You're not I, bringing it over to the pool today, Ken? I can bring it over, Dan, but I, I don't know yeah. that uh, that's that's pool drinking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think it is. Yeah, I think that's not a pool drinker at two o'clock in the afternoon. On a hot Florida day. So. <laughs> thumbs up, thumbs down. I just got the uh, yeah. little bit of uh, it, yeah. air in the back. I'm gonna there. say. Thumbs up. Again, my preference with this is neat, um, but it's spicy, it's complex. I like it. Um, just avoid the ice cube in my humble opinion. Yeah, yeah. If you want something, um, uh, you know, you're trying to take a, a, a next step uh, and you don't want to break the bank, I think this was 30 bucks. Mm. Um, this would be a, a good one to take the next step up to. I, and I'm, I'm going to get a bottle of Rare Breed uh, and I'm a, we're going to try it. Yeah, let's compare them. Let's compare them and uh, Maybe that'll okay. be one of our next shoots. But yeah, that I think because it's it's uh, for us. I mean, if I if you're an experienced bourbon drinker, really can really pick out those flavors. It might not be comparable, but to me, it's going to have that spicy back end finish mm -hmm. that Turkey's kind of known for, and this is has that. And Ken, we're getting more experience though. We're this picking is, out uh, the flavors. We're, we're getting there. We're getting so, there. Thanks for sticking with us on this yeah. journey. Yeah, thumbs up for me too, and uh, uh, like. What is this like, thing? This is I my part, Ken. Like, not, subscribe, ring the bell all over social media, Facebook, Instagram, at Beachside Bros Jax. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for Ellie for not being too noisy. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> cheers. <laughs>